Oh, this is actually... No. Oh yeah, we got a cooking book as well. We also want to do that before I'm going to forget about that. Um, well, we first are going over here. I'm here to sell. You can have the repel cave. Yes. No. Okay. We have several things actually to do here. Uh, first of all, we want to have the bullshit. Give me the fucking bullshit. Oh, many people actually already uh, give me a personal message about the pit of 100 trials. Yes, I'm going to do it in the let's play because otherwise it's not a very completely run after all. But all the battles will not be in there. New enemies will be in there only once, but if there is an old enemy, we're not going to do that. So, thank you already for... Yeah. Uh, messaging, message me so many times about it, but... Yeah, power up. Anyway, um, I'm planning on doing the Pit of 100 Trials after I uh, did Chapter 5. Because in Chapter 5 there's actually coming some stuff that you really need in uh, the Pit of 100 Trials. I hope that I will level up enough actually to, you know... It's, it's just... It, it, it depends actually on how things are going to work. I mean, I'm, not, I'm telling you already, it's not a 100% run because I have no idea where all the... Uh, well, you know, all the, the, help me, the, the star pieces are, I have no idea where all the, uh, where everything is and all that stuff, so, it's not going to be a 100% run, but still, I'm actually want to show you mostly of the complete game, and my gameplay, of course, so, well, actually, I'm going to get a very useful badge right now, that I wanted to have actually a long time already, because now we have the Jumpman badge. Everybody knows about the Jumpman badge, I hope. Uh, there was only one badge actually that prevented me for yeah, getting total control of, out of your mind. Well, actually I was talking about I want to have this badge over here. It's right over here. Vivian, you are stupid. It's the Spike Shield! Make Mario damage proof when jumping on spiky foes! Oh, yeah. Actually, that badge only costs three badge points. That sucks. Because then, actually, we don't have to use the Quake Hammer anymore. Then we can actually use the... the, 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 the where are you? The Jumpman badge. Because we don't need the hammer anymore. There are so many badges I actually want to equip, so... Why did I do that? Oh well. Yeah, I know, this is a kind of a boring part. That was just on time. Oh well. Okay, that batch is one that we had. We have upgraded Vivian. Uh, is there something that I wanted to do as well? Um, not really. I mean, oh well, we didn't do this one before, so why not? Smash! Actually, you can have a shine spread over here. And you can actually make warp pipes to different places of the world. For example, that actually goes to Beetleburg and the other one is actually going to the Boogity Woods. You know, the Great Deku Tree. Oh. I actually, sometimes I forgot about how long I'm actually already playing this game. And this place, it's a place where we can't go yet. So, I will see you guys at the, yeah, Thousand Year Door. Okay, here we are, guys, in front of the Thousand Year Door. Let's have this equip! It's time for shiny, shiny stuff, shiny circles. Right around and Mario, two shiny circles. It makes platforms on the floor and we see our red star. And the card map is actually absorbing the red star's power and it's floating all by its own. What will happen to the world? Oh, I'm sorry. Seriously, these cutscenes are actually kind of funny. Okay, let's see. On the map. Here is the map. There is a tiny island with the seas and an island there and coconuts and... Uh, Skull and a blue star. The 
The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map! Amazing! We better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office! We have to let him know about the prince's email! Yeah, we know. There we go again. What? The, that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? How bone chilling, sadly it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found in the... What have you found out, Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so you best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there in front of the television and the computer, are you listening up too? Uh... What? I guess so, uh, audience of YouTube, uh, be ready. Maybe I'm missing something, are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details, just listen. The great catalyst that I read about in the book may well refer to this demon. It seems that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood in this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster, and that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's psychical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be ever dictated. So the heroes actually took the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon, and they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot dis dis distinguish good from evil. So if they are all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines the if they are used for evil or good, and sorry about my crappy English. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all only to have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anybody think it might be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There is a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So, once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousand year to... Yeah. Bad luck, uh huh. The fact that those goons want to start now may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the eggs not fail. Oh, I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where do we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Killhall Key. Killhall Key? Killhall Key? Killhall Key? Yes. I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You always hear rumors. Shut up, okay? You know the usual stuff. Vanguard spirits full of hardwood evil curses, things like that, you know. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more, actually. You should head there first. Oh well. Anyway, why would the Fuck, where you're talking to us, you know, guys in the screen and YouTube. That's actually breaking the fourth wall. Dude, will, will you please leave and continue with the game? Okay. Jeez. What's his? Oh well. You know what we're we going to do? We're just going to save. End this recording session. I have recorded enough. I hope to have a bunch of episodes. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for sleeping. Uh, I thank you all for existing. I'm just going to save right here, right now, and I want to thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. Next time on play Let's Play Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door, we're actually going to start Chapter 5, and we're going to have that, uh, yeah, that chapter as well. So, stay tuned, and good day, good night, or whatever time it is when you are watching this. See ya, guys!